All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video on the Ghost Flash channel. Ladies and gentlemen, this video right here is about to be the video of the freaking year, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty sure I just said that, but I'm really excited. So, as you guys can see, well, you guys can't see, but long story short, in today's video, it will be the revive of the Genesis Coupe. Well, actually, I'm gonna do a reveal video because I gotta get fabrication done and a whole bunch of other stuff after putting in this new harness that finally came after almost two years. Shout out to you, Ken Dolph Roach, if I said that name. If I said your name right, I'm so sorry. Or if I butchered it, I'm so sorry. But shout out to you. Uh, met her on Facebook Market and she sold this to me. And uh, I'm excited. Basically get the fabrication work done for the turbo kit that still need to get done, the downpipe, the hood exit, and then as well I need to get the car tuned. So I'm not gonna drive the car, obviously, once it's started again, because we're not, I'm not gonna put myself in that same situation as last time. So, once it gets started, it's still gonna sit. So I'm not gonna tell you guys. I figured since you guys have waited this long, a lot of my friends have stopped checking in, checking in on me, and stopped asking about the car, even all that good stuff. So why even tell anybody? So, I'm just gonna get it done myself. Willie's on the way, he's gonna help me out. We're gonna get this thing done tonight, and then focus on getting some money together for the fabrication and for the tune. So right now it is February 20th, and by the time you guys are watching this video, it'll probably be a few months from now. So yeah, let this be the day. February 20th is the day we got the heart for the Genesis Coupe. I've been waiting to do this. I've been waiting to do this for a long time. Well, the car wasn't always covered, but for the past few while, for the past while, it's been covered. So. About time, I told myself I would not uncover this car until she was ready to go back under the knife. And today is that day, ladies and gentlemen. Today is that day. But let me go ahead and show you guys how much damage got caused to the car while she was sitting for almost two years. So, Fender broken long story short we were trying to transport this car and on on these nice handy dandy wherever they went harbor free uh rollers and the car fell off and went kaboom blew up the fender in the front as you can see that's why the bumper is off fender also came off the car and scratched the wrap scratched the wrap up there keep in mind guys this wrap was in perfect condition when this car went down and now it is not so new color coming soon i hope once i can afford it i don't know if you guys can tell on video but the wrap is literally oh yeah by the way it's also scratched right there from my boat hitting it and also messed up right there i don't know if you guys can tell but oh right there the wrap literally has freckles from sitting on the sun like that's not even water spots they're like they're like the wrap is like distorted like a freaking picture or something like it's in 240p i don't know what's going on with it and then uh this bad man pajama yeah yeah my car when it fell off the rollers and broke the two front fenders the car fell off into my motorcycle and it went through the wrap and through the paint so yep that's more of the damage um the banner got a little messed up uh a little scratch right there or big scratch but you know whatever the car is uh, in shambles as you guys can see from me trying to fix it over the year there's no headliner currently in the car or stay real, or call him. Car got no power. What else is wrong with this car? Your bumper is a little fidgety with the fitment, but that's just as it is. Uh, the wing's not on the car. The wing is just too big. I got tired of hitting my head on it, scratching myself and stuff, so I took that off of the bumper. But other than that, that's about all the damage that was to the wrap while it was sitting. Mainly just a couple scratches, a couple bad scratches, and uh, some freckles. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we got the, now I wouldn't even say the old harness, we got a harness out. And now we got the OEM harness going back in. Sorry I didn't record. I just, after it's been a long time, so we just wanted to get cracking. So now we're gonna get cracking, I'm putting the new one back in. I'm gonna set up the tripod to get a little time lapse of it being put in. the camera,
that when, when you realize that entire last five minute moment it was all caught on camera but with no audio it kind of sucks <laughs> because they didn't hear the car start or me screaming running around the garage for like five minutes in disbelief calling people like what like what's going on right now none of that's on audio none of it so you just gonna, it's just gonna be a video of me looking like a fool, looking like a mime running around my garage. And nothing of me saying, ah, the back. No, back. no, none of it, none of it, at all. All because I forgot to turn on the mic. That's fantastic. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well. Well, let me know if you want to do over. I'll come back out and say the same thing. All right, well, I'm gonna hang up. I'm gonna start cleaning up the garage and start putting this car together now that it works. Cause that's gonna take the longest just putting it together. Well, put the heater. I on might even be, I might even take it outside of the garage by the end of the night just to wash her. Oh, imagine that a whole a whole year's worth. Finally be able to wash the car outside under its own power. If the garage opened. Oh, that's right. The garage doesn't open. That's tragic. Never mind. She's not getting the car washed tonight. Oh, how? That's just how amazing my bad luck is. <laughs> I always tell everybody that I have the worst luck. The car gets started. It's locked in a broken garage. I forgot to record on my phone. I gotta be Wait, there's no exhaust coming out the back. <laughs> yeah, it's not hooked up. Uh oh. It's alive! It's alive! Oh, hey, man. <laughs> Finally. Oh, good job, sir. Daddy was a reborn! I know, that's a long time coming. Long time coming. All right, guys. So, uh, Mo, I just called Mo. Not to be weird or nothing, but I have Mo's location. We're homies like that. And I was just like, seeing who the homies was kind of close by. I saw Mo pull up. He was just, he was at his house, and his house right around the corner for me. So I called him real quick, and he was like, "Hey," I was like, "What you doing?" He goes, "I just pulled up to the house." I was like, "Well, pull back out, pull up here." I'm set up the camera, pointed at the door because the grotto doesn't work. So I'm going to have him walk into the side yard. I'm going to be inside the Genesis. And when he walks in, I'm just going to start and get his reaction. All right, so I hear Mo pulling up right now. And I'm talking to my tuner right now. Shout out to you. I said, I said, yo. He goes, what's up? I said, I got to tell you a secret with a little emoji. He goes, what? I love secrets. You guys got to just love when you have an awesome experience with your tuner like this like you could just have conversations like that so i'm going to give him the great news that the genesis is now running after a whole freaking year why did robert have you open the door i don't know he just asked me to open the door It was the exact, exact one. same one as 2010 Genesis 2.0 Turbo R-Spec. No shit! Yeah. Hello. Go around the side gate. The garage door is broken. Hey, Take your hood off. Turn the hood. Do your thing. Do your thing. Bro, damn, what's up, what's up, what's up? That's what we got to do, what the hell? I'm surprised you, I don't know if he's still going to do it or what. In a little bit. Oh, okay, in a little bit. He's probably going to look, bro. <laughs> he's like, yeah. Oh. Now you just jump. Hi, go splash! I think this is going to do it right now, bro. I don't know, man. I think this is going to do it. Well, if it starts? No. This bitch has a move still. I thought it was a surprise. Let me get some No, he's got a new dance move, bro. Ain't no way. Now you got to go look in the box and inside the car, though. Huh? Look in the box on the other side of the car. What box? On the other side of the car. Oh, on the other side of the car? Yeah. Inside the car. So, so not that box. 
You got the AC pumping, bro? It's still, it's still cold outside. Well, we use it as a fan. It sound like a fucking percolator. This box? On the other side. On the other side. This harness? For this thing? It's the right harness. Like, no doubt. Hey, where'd you get it from? Trying to grow in New York. What you doing, bro? Yeah, hey, yo! Look, right it's not a mess. Oh, what the heck? This shit fell off, bro. Not a mess. It actually looks complete, huh? Look at the search camera. There you go. Hey, what class are you in now? Uh, You're almost done, huh? I told I told everybody I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna tell nobody in the squad until they actually decided to show up. That's crazy. <laughs>